One of the issues with part work models is the dust that can accumulate over the build period. Well, part work upgrades are now offering these excellent solution dust covers. Made from a high quality material, ribbed to keep shape, and with matching trim, these are a pleasure to look at. 
They're also embroidered with the build's logo, which really makes this pop. So whether you're building the Ecto-1 or the DeLorean from the Back to the Future franchise, these are perfect for protecting your build. With many covers already created and more on the way, this is an excellent solution to protect your vehicles during the build. Check out these items and more at partworkupgrades.com. I've been playing with pre-rolls. <laughs> That's my pre-roll. <laughs> I had great fun making that today. It's an ad, Nexus. It's an ad that I made you watch sneakily. How nasty of me. I've got a bone to pick with you, Kevin. All, all will be revealed soon. It's a good bone. It's like a chicken bone, like a wishbone. It's not like a bad bone. <laughs> yes, Gary Whitfield. I do love, as you mentioned, the uh, the, the X-Wing build that uh, Lou Dalmasso is doing at the moment. Um, it's one of the blue squadron, isn't it, you're doing? I did watch the first one. I don't know if you've got another one up there. But it's looking really good. How the devil is everybody? You can hear me. I didn't even check if the bingy bingy bings. What am I sounding like tonight? I've uh, I've pressed a button that gives it high quality sound. So I don't know if that's going to do anything. We'll have to see. <laughs> um, uh, hello, Scotsman. What was that? I'm doing okay. Been looking enviously at the Centauri Ferrari truck this evening. Hoping it'll end up in the UK. Is that, will that house the F40, do you reckon? That'd be brilliant. Look, people are still getting the uh, Beverly Hills Cop. You're absolutely right, it was Beverly Hills Cop. And uh, John Patterson did get it. But I've got to account for the ping on, on Lou Dalmasso's uh, computer. So, uh, you know, you got to add a couple of seconds there. So I, I don't know who, who got what. But, but, I am going to make it dead hard <laughs> on Thursday. I'm just going to make it so hard that only the, the cryptic and the people that are just spending most of their time watching DVDs or in the cinema are going to get it. I haven't got a clue what film it is yet, but I know some pretty obscure films. So <laughs> we'll have to see. But uh, yeah, you can't skip that one. You, I made that, Berg. You can't skip it. <laughs> I did enjoy making that. Uh, Willie's Jeep's been delayed. I don't know if you got the email, but uh, everyone in the UK has been told it's not coming out this year. It's coming out in 2022 now. Uh, so we're very much late for that, unfortunately. And hello, Christian from Grantham. Let's give it up big time. Hello, Christian from Grantham. Now let's get cracking. And hello, Jacek as well. How is everybody? Yeah, yeah, it's a special ad. You can't, you can't skip it. <laughs> um, oh, oh, hello. What's this one? Uh, Corgi Mations. Hello, I was wondering since you're a Star Wars fan if you own an Ultra Saber. I don't own an Ultra Saber. At the moment, I've got um, Gary in chat there actually gave me Yoda's lightsaber there and I've got the original Force FX uh, Anakin Saber there. Did have Darth Vader's one as well, but I broke it. So, uh, well, actually I didn't break it. My son broke it and then lost the battery pack for it. So it was it was a lost cause. So uh, that one went. Had you worry there for a minute? Well, Nexus, let me let me just end your pain and let you know. Um, after our chat that we had on stream, I thought, you know what? It's not fair me slating Star Trek Discovery. So I'm going to give it another go. So I watched Star Trek Discovery all the way from season one again. And I have to say, without a doubt, the first season is the biggest pile of crap I've ever seen, ever, ever made on TV. God-awful crap. Crap, crap. I hope you understand how terrible it is. But, but... I'm guessing the studio knew that when they went into season two, because if you notice, season two is completely different. There's lots of vibrant colours, none of that black sepia that they've got going around. You know, like some of the 90s films, they they went for a phase of having blue a blue hue to everything, or like with uh, Con Air and stuff, you had that sepia hue to everything. Well, there's been a phase with the Batman films, uh, every Zack Snyder film, where they have this sort of like black hue going on. It just didn't do anything, and that the first season was terrible, but it's completely redeemed itself in season two i have to say so i'm halfway through season two really enjoying it can't wait to start season three but um yeah season one didn't do anything for me if you want to get into star trek discovery pretend season one doesn't exist and then you'll like it that was the bone i had to pick with you <laughs> kevin but yeah i uh I, I managed to uh to, to watch it and that's all i've been watching at the moment so it's been it's been very fun <laughs> the wrong kevin good win don't worry it's the other kevin <laughs> and hello hugo saws adam Hello, Adam. Now, we're going to be doing a build tonight, just so you know. I'll read your message in a minute. We're going to be doing uh, issue six of The Fast and the Furious. You saw issue five on the channel earlier. Um, I'll be honest with you. I don't know what I'm doing. I haven't even looked at the instructions. I'm hoping 
it's not too hard but this will be the last one of this delivery so i'm waiting for a new delivery to come i have been informed that my iron mans have been posted out the next four of the iron man series uh, so that should be here soon the x-wing should be here tomorrow so i'm expecting about 10 issues of the x-wing tomorrow and i'm also expecting uh the ecto one issue 20 any day now and i'm also expecting the eleanor <laughs> any day now so we'll have to see you're a massive fan of Fast and Furious franchise. I just signed up for the monthly subscription for the Dodge Charger. Would you say the car's worth the money with the two years? Definitely. All of these 1.8 builds, Adam. It's not until you see the end vehicle that you realise how good it is. Uh, but there you go. Uh, while I'm on the subject of uh, Star Trek Discovery, I've been trying to think why it doesn't feel like... It, she's changing the blinking lights again. I noticed it that time. I'm trying to think why it doesn't feel... I was having a conversation with Mrs. Welder Wayne about this. Why it doesn't feel like a Star Star Trek episode, and I, I know what the answer is, and it's something that I think that they've sorted out in season two, that I hate all the series which go on for like 15 to 20 episodes, and they just drag a story all the way through it. Now, the thing with Star Trek, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Angel, CSI, Castle, Bones, that even though you have a story that's flowing through all of the episodes, each episode is its own standalone story. So if you're a new person to the franchise, you can just jump in at any point and then pick it up. You can't do that with Discovery unless you just completely ignore that season one exists. So then you can probably do that. So, <laughs> but uh, yeah, there you go. But <laughs> it's all good. I've, I've had my vent. I feel better now. I've had my vent because I'm on the rum tonight. Look, on the rum. <laughs> Yes, you should see it from this end. <laughs> Are we talking about the X-Wing or Balsawood? Because <laughs> I'm always, like, late to chat. <laughs> uh, it's all good. Um, wow. It's your second favourite film. What, Beverly Hills Cop? Ah, Vegas, baby. Oh, I miss Vegas. We, we've been talking about it in the last few streams, Fisher, you know, and... Uh, I miss I miss Vegas. I haven't been to Vegas since 2009, you know, but at least at least in 2007 I did get to see the uh, Star Trek experience. But uh, I, I was going through a phase of going to Vegas like, you know, as often as I possibly could. I want to take Mrs. World away to Vegas. It's not her cup of tea. We won't be gambling. We'll just do the shows. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, you're not allowed to change the lights tonight. Well, how comes they were blue a minute ago and they're green now? I'm not that colour blind. Shame on who? Shame on me? Shame on who? <laughs> no comedy on the lights either. Just keeps changing. I I'm going to ban her from there. This is what happens when you have like echo dots in every room in your house and then she just has to talk to one of them. And this happens. <laughs> but uh, there you go. <laughs> Everyone's talking about the lights changing. I'm dead on with Discovery. Oh, thank you, Lou. I said I'm only just getting into it from season two, and I'm, I'm, I know I'm getting into it because I can't wait to see the next episodes now. Captain Pike coming into it was brilliant. But, uh, you know. The problem is, that I've mentioned it before, that going back in time to a time before uh, Kirk is always going to be a mistake because then, you know, don't matter what Discovery does, and I know apparently they time jump into the future, but Discovery now exists in the time before the Enterprise, or, you know, before... Kirk took over the Enterprise 1701. But you, you, you've got to ask yourself the question, why was that never ever mentioned in <laughs> the original series? Next Generation, Deep Space Nine, Voyager. <laughs> it's like, yeah, you, you, it's, it's a silly idea. Oh, thank you, Howard. I didn't think you were going to be on chat tonight. Howard's, uh, uh, I've, got to, I've got to read your, your thing, because Howard sent Mrs. Welder Wayne. Hang on a second. I will come to that, that comment in a minute. Are you feeling better now that you've vented, Wayne? And I bet it's your son doing it. No, nope, it's uh, it's Esther doing it. Uh, she should be busy with what you've bought her. You bought her a um, you bought her another diorama. So you know she built those dioramas that I showed you. One with like a library and a haberdashery studio, I believe, and a garden. Well, she's got a greenhouse to build now, thanks to uh, Howard. But she does keep me out of the way. And you you are right. It does grease the wheels to get like the Enterprise above the TV, which you know that petition will be going live soon. <laughs> There are so many Kevins in chat. There is. It's a popular name. Have you seen the IXO Porsche? I have seen the IXO Porsche. I understand that's out in April, and I believe I might be doing it, Pete. 
Uh, but I do understand that I've also got, when I was talking about everything that's coming, I believe I've got pack three coming early next week of the Bismarck for Magura Models. It's going to be a big one, that one. Definitely. Yeah, my postman hates me. The good thing is, though, Scotsman, we, um, we have different post people on different days. So, you know, what they've learned, though, is that I'm always in. So if I'm not in, they will throw it over the, uh, the, the garden for me. It's a secure garden, so... And if not, Phoebe would get them. <laughs> uh, I want to get the next uh, the next pack of the Enterprise. <laughs> I'm really uh, really itching to build that. Um, there's there's been a lot of discussion. You know, you know, I'm, when I did that mod with the beacon and all that, that's basically me at night sitting there going, I could do that. I could do that. Well, the the puzzle we've got at the moment is that the nacelles. I couldn't figure out what looks wrong on the on the Enterprise, and it's the nacelles. The nacelles look look wrong. And what it is, is that obviously when the, when the ship's powered up, they're blue. When it's not powered up, they're like a copper coloured. And I'm trying to think, how can you get that effect of copper colour and then blue? And now I've seen people um, where you've got the, 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 the uh, troughs and divots that they've painted the troughs, uh, the, top, the troughs blue. They've left it, no, the divots blue and the troughs, oh, I don't know. The bottom bit's blue and the top bit's copper. So it looks kind of copper from a distance. And when it's lit, obviously it all looks blue. But I'm sure there's a better way. Now that now I'm gonna I'm gonna whet your appetite here, and, and I don't know what the solution is. But all you modders out there, have a think. You could get light bulbs for your fireplace years ago, which were gold. And you look at them, and they're like a mirror. They're gold. But when they lit up, it's as if the gold just disappeared, and it was like a normal bulb. And it don't matter what colour you put in there, you could still see that colour flow through the surface of that bulb. Now, I've also seen it in window tints for cars that you can get like a gold reflective film, but it's a really thin stuff. But if you uh, put a light behind it, the light shines through as if there's no color in front of it. It's really weird. But I've seen some discussions on the Facebook groups about it. There's got to be a way to achieve it. But I don't think it looks right with the blue nasal. Obviously, when it's on, it will look good. But when it's off, it's going to look really weird. And I think that blue blue like uh, design of the nacelle is making it look a bit like a toy which which is my biggest worry i was uh, out of the whole thing everything else looks fine but that that looks like a toy which i don't like so i don't know if anyone else has been thinking about that but i thought i'd, I'd mention that <laughs> uh, i loved picard I, I i i was hoping the ending would be a bit different i was hoping that um seven and nine was going to call the borg and uh to, to aid in the fight not the not Riker in the uh Federation. I was hoping the Borg would help out, but uh, you know, there you go, because they're, they're redeeming themselves now, aren't they? <laughs> I, I've never watched the soap opera, Bobby Bates, so I, I couldn't answer that. <laughs> uh, we have got uh, another thing, which is good. A load of people ask me, what happens if uh, we want to, we want to, I don't know, the Iron Man delivery, but they don't do it in my country? Well, there is uh, an offer on now from Oligo Models, which is this. They have now started a subscription forwarding service. So if we can get the part work in this country, go over to Oligo Models and you can get it shipped to your country uh, for a nominal fee. And Dan over there takes care of all of that. But um, if you're not aware of that, the website's down the bottom there. And that's how you can get hold of things. He can't get hold of things that aren't in this country. So, you know, if anyone's after the Knight Rider build, which another load of people keep asking me for, uh, he won't be able to get that. Because if he could, I'll be after it. <laughs> episodic. That's what. I, that, that's a good word, episodic. It's a word that I want to use more often, Gary. Episodic. Uh, the next is, it's because it's not episodic. Basically, mean it's a, isn't a different story every episode. It's the same story spread over different... Yeah, that's, that's, that's a real bad way to make television, I think, Nexus. They, it's, it's all right having a story going across the whole season... You know, like, you know, the Borg story and Next Generation and all that. But it doesn't mean every episode is devoted to that story. They have a beginning and an end in every episode. That, it's, the, it, it, the, it's the main factor of why people can't just jump into this. I mean, when I got into Next Generation, I thought, think they were on q, q Who, the, where they meet the Borg for the first time. That's the first episode I'd ever seen in Next Generation. And it was because of that I went back and watched the rest and then, like, became a, a, a diehard fan. <laughs> uh... Oh, 
Oh, and by the way, the um, just so you know, my Terminator. Um, obviously, the Hashet one here, uh, sorry, the Hashet one here is now up to issue 98, something like that. I think it's 98. Uh, the Agor one's up to 100. Unfortunately, I've had a problem with that one. That issue 97, they missed the toe piece out. So uh, I've, I've had to call them and get a toe piece delivered. But I did ask, can you catch me up? And they are. They're going to send me all of the ones up to, is it 106 you're on? They're going to catch me up with all of those. And they're also going to send me um, all the Spitfires. That I, I think I'm a month behind everyone with the Spitfires. They're going to send me those as well. So uh, thank you, Hashet, for that. I'm glad that's all been sorted out. I am getting low on the rum, Ian. No, no, not, 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 no, I'm not low on the rum, rum. <laughs> I've got like three bottles downstairs. <laughs> Just turned off the spaceship. Who? Mrs. World Away turned it off. Don't turn off my spaceship. I love my ET spaceship. <laughs> uh, Lou, if you're in chat, do, do you have yours on like, all the time with the lights or only when you want to look at it do you just switch it on because you know a lot of these power mods that we're making for all these models here they're, they're meant to, the lights i've just noticed look like a or, orange like a yellowy orange color blind but i just uh, i just wonder do, do, does everyone plan to have these things powered all the time or not i only have the spaceship on when i'm streaming or when i'm doing a video so all cool now tonight when i uh when i do Oh, what's going on here? When I do the uh, stream tonight, I am going to be filming on different cameras. I also need to plug my phone in, which is something I better do now. I meant to do that before the stream, but uh, I got preoccupied. <laughs> Stand by. Just get that ready. I'm just going to get this set up. Okay, I think we're good. Okay, let's just look at that almost there come on uh, excellent okay so I've got one two three four cameras recording five cameras recording um, the reason I'm doing that is because um, I am building the uh, Dodge Charger in collaboration with uh, Fan Home so I need to make sure that I've got all the good cameras and all the good beauty shots when I need it so uh all good <laughs> for breaking your saber ah yeah that weren't me it was my it, it, it what it was the, the old the very first editions of the fx james they um they had like a stream of leds running through them and it was bitty after a while and then he lost the battery pack so <laughs> there you go uh, looked at the space battleship yamoto on uh, uh dhd galactic's channel great channel he's got i want it to go worldwide no, definitely. Definitely. Greetings for the heart of the Willamette, Willamette Valley in Oregon, World Away. Lunch and, oh, it's lunchtime for you peeps over there, isn't it? You prefer Star Trek Voyager? I mean, at the moment, it's still next generation for me. Then probably Deep Space Nine, then Voyager, then original series. Hated Enterprise. But uh, only for the reason I just mentioned that they shouldn't go back. They always go forward. Always go forward. Which is probably why that I already had a spoiler for season three of Voyager, uh, of uh, Discovery. That's probably why they've done that. But we'll have to see. <laughs> Has your DeLorean battery died yet? Uh, it hasn't got any batteries in there, Corgi Mations. I had to take them out because they leaked. I, I mean, since that's been on that shelf, I've used it twice, if that. So uh, there's no batteries in there at the moment. And I never did a power mod for that one. So I'm so glad that I did the power mod for the Ecto-1 there. But... Um, Picard's my all-time favourite cat print. But I'll tell you what, that uh, Captain Pike from Discovery is growing on me. He's got the mannerisms. I don't know if it's just me. He's got the mannerisms and the, and the, 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 the look of uh, Billy Bob Thornton. Does anyone else think that? <laughs> or is it just me? I just think he's... I, I said, he, if, if uh, Billy Bob Thornton could do that role, then it's, there'd be no difference. <laughs> Uh, I did see the ad for the half-scale alien. It's not coming out here, Dara, but I, I really wish it would because the original incarnation I saw of that was terrible, but the new one looks really good. Uh, the problem, yeah, Greg, the, the, the shows with long-running stories, they just drag, and, I, and you do get the impression that they're just dragging the story out. Uh, that's why I got fed up with 24 in the end. It's like, oh, come on, just get on with it. I know it's 24 episodes for 24 hours, but... 
you know, the, the guy was in a nuclear blast and almost dead by issue one, uh, episode one. And by episode three, Jack Bauer's like, you know, running around all happy and stuff. Ah, <laughs> oh, all cool. Um, I'm, I'm guessing tonight's uh, Fast and the Furious is going to take about 10, 10 to 15 minutes to build. So that's why I'm having a good old chat tonight. So uh, I hope you don't mind. Just uh, keeping your company while I'm drinking my rum. What else has been going on? Uh, oil. Oil. The oil. <laughs> it's, it's a fun word to say. Oil. Fun words to say. Um, just so you know, when I do the oil for the uh, screws for the vehicles, uh, there's hardly any anything in here. As a matter of fact, I'm going to show you something. Watch. Ready? Look. See? It looks like it's empty. It's only just like a little tiny bit in there. I don't swamp my, my screws in oil, just enough to put a real thin coating on there. So uh, that was asked as well. <laughs> um, be amazing to see the Eleanor in a 1.8 scale. Are you getting the case they offer with the Dodge Charger Fast and Furious? I believe I am, Adam, but the um, I, I'm still waiting for the Eleanor. Has anyone in the UK got the Eleanor? Because I, I still haven't received it. And I did see someone actually had uh, issue three of the um, Enterprise build. I'm sure that was a mistake because no one else has got it. You know, that's issues uh, seven, eight, nine and ten. So we know what's coming. It's the back section of the um, the bridge, uh, the uh, battle deck and um, some more frame. So hello, Sebastian. How's it going? How are you on this bright? Yeah, good narbent. Never going to happen. Are you still talking about this uh, <laughs> this Enterprise that I'm never getting up? Absolutely. Wayne, if you start hanging the bits of the Enterprise now, the missus is used to it, time is done. You, you're right, Lou. If I do like one bit at a time, or just hang something else there. Lou, she's got witches hanging in the room right next to me here. There's like 11 witches hanging from the ceiling. <laughs> and I just want a spaceship. <laughs> Uh, uh, hello, Susan. How's it going? <laughs> Too tight, Mrs. World away. The doll's house is better in the living room. The doll's house is going to look lovely in the living room once it's actually got the front on and the lights in. But it would look better with a spaceship on it, I have to say. Or we were talking about how about... <laughs> this is a great idea, this one. How about we put the Bismarck on top of the uh, on top of the doll's house? And then it will be like the house for Mary Poppins, you know, with a captain on top. <laughs> See? I'm thinking of every idea I can. <laughs> you came through, you certainly did, uh, Howard. I'm waiting to see it finished because I want to do the same one, but I think uh, an Audrey 2 would be a touch. We've been mentioning about Audrey 2. There is a 3D print for it as well. Can you imagine I have a little sound effect going, Spemus, see more Spemus now. <laughs> uh, that's a little shop of horrors, if you didn't know. <laughs> it's a quote. Uh... You've seen someone paint it silver. I've seen, I've seen Pete. I've seen them paint the, um, the, the. I've got the right, the right word now. The Boozard, not the Buzzard, as I called it. The Boozard. Is that right? It's named after someone called Boozard, even though it's spelt Buzzard. Um, yeah, the Boozard. They've painted um, silver on the inside of it, so when you turn it over, it looks copper coloured because of the colour of the lens. Um, but I don't know. It's an interesting thing for that that nasal. Uh, I have missed a lot of chat. Um, I'm sorry. I'm trying to keep up with chat again. You're going to be building alongside me tonight, Ryan. Well, we're going to get started in that in about five more minutes. So get your screwdrivers ready and, and your oil. I don't, I don't know what we need. I don't think there's any sprues in this one. No, no sprues in this one. And it's all metal. There's a lot, I love these builds where there's lots and lots of metal. Salud, Orduane. Salud to you too, Nathan. Um... I would like Oligo to get you a copy of the Barris Batmobile. <laughs> Shame it's not available here. Oh, you're going to be busy now, Dan. Oh, you're looking into the possibilities of me getting subs into the UK. You need to find someone who lives in France, Daniel. That's where it's all happening. That's where all the trials are. You could buy me a chateau if you want. <laughs> You know, like the Escape to the Chateau peeps, the Angel and, um, um, oh, I've forgotten the guy's name from, um, Scrap Each Challenge. What's his name? Derek, no. Can't remember. This is where Wayne's going to be shouting at me because we went to see them in concert last year. <laughs> uh, Dick, Dick and Angel. That's it, Dick and Angel, Dick Strawbridge. 
I got it. <laughs> yes. Now with the um, with the uh, as you can see, the, the stands are absolutely brilliant. You know what? I'm, I'm even considering modifying the uh, stand that we're actually going to get with the Hashit and Agora models to the one that Ian's got here. Um, he's adapted the head of this, which uh, just swaps out uh, because obviously we can't use that one now because we've got a plate on the chest and the back. Um, but we'll be able to still incorporate those stands uh, so it's doing that sort of pose straight away. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. That's another thing that's keeping me awake at night because I, I get these ideas and I'm thinking it'll be so easy to do, I reckon. But we won't know until we've seen the stand from Agora Models and uh, Hashet. Now I've seen the stand, so I know what it looks like, and it's heavy. It's very, very heavy, because it's got to support that big metal U-shaped thing into the base of it. So it's a big slab of metal. <laughs> uh, the Borg have made three appearances. Well, two two episodes, Bobby in Best of Both Worlds, one in QQ, one with um, um, uh, where um, Hugh, Q, Q am I? Oh, I don't know what it was. You know when they named one of the Borg? Uh, then Descent. They're in Descent. They're in loads. Uh, I only light it from time to time just to be sure it still works. <laughs> you got the right idea, um, Lou. I, I just, I'm just very nervous about putting batteries in things. It's okay with these cell batteries. I haven't seen cell batteries. Um, you know, I've left them in PCs for years and nothing's happened. But the normal like AAA and AA batteries... That leaked, and that, that worried me. Took a bit of clean up, that did as well. It's only one battery that leaked, but it only takes one to go and then spoil the crop. Um, you got Kevin Goodwin, what? The complete series of Next Generation, along with Voyager, made him happy. You'll never see him again. He'll be watching it all the time. <laughs> I'd see Lou's light bill if he left everything on. Can you imagine that? That'd be something else. But, uh, oh, thank you, Ryan. I really appreciate that. Sorry I didn't see that earlier. The, the lights are green now. Oh, my goodness. Because I, I, I'm looking at chat, I don't see them change. So uh, this is Mrs. Welder Wayne's, like, game now. So it's going to be like that all the time. Hello, Glenn. How's it going? Wayne, have the Star Trek in song by the film. What? There's Klingons on the starboard bounce. <laughs> hey, hey, Bobby, I know the dance for that. I was one of these con geeks who knew the dance for it. <laughs> Six episodes always felt like a good middle ground, definitely. Allowing some opportunities to tell a longer story, but keeping it cycling fast enough to let others enjoy it. I agree, Scotsman. Six to ten episodes maximum. Picard was dragged out a little bit with that, that, that one, though. So, yeah, six six is good. Six, to, six or eight. Saying that, WandaVision was pretty much right on it. Definitely. Star Wars or Star Trek? Oh, it's, it's, um, you can't, I, I don't know if you've seen on my channel, I did somewhere back in the past, about three or four years ago, I did a top ten of films. Top ten films that I absolutely love. And I made a statement at the start saying you can't include films like Jaws, Raiders of the Lost Ark, Star Wars, all the classics, because they go beyond the top ten list. So I didn't include them for that reason. But uh, it's the same as Star Wars and Star Trek. They're, they're, they're monoliths in their own right. And The Mandalorian was absolutely brilliant. Both seasons of that were brilliant. <laughs> okay, right. We are going to be cut the witches down. If I do that, I will die. And then I'll be not. I'll be on the couch in the workshop. <laughs> oh, bless. Oh, and I say that, my, my son and my daughter is getting me into manga at the moment. So I've been watching this My Hero Academia, which uh, does remind me of some of the old things I used to watch as a kid. But... Uh, I'm, I'm confused with some of the manga things because I can't tell what age group they're aimed at. Because you think they're aimed at kids with like My Hero Academia about a load of kids in school who are aiming to be a hero with their special powers. But the gore in it, you think, yeah, this this isn't kids. <laughs> so, I don't know. I remember seeing Fist of the North Star when I was little. Yeah, very gory. <laughs> and that's the, the manga version, not the, the, the live action version, obviously. Uh... In a shop near me, you found the Enterprise A for the fish tank. Oh my God, are you talking about that? Has anyone seen the Bradford Exchange? I can't believe what they've peddled out or what they're trying to peddle out as an advertisement. They, they, they've tried to link a train. So they've got an electric O-gauge uh, locomotive with carriages. And then they've slapped Star Wars decals on the side of it. So it's now the Star Wars locomotive. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> 
I'll have to, I, you know what, you know what, I've got to find it. It's the most stupidest thing you've ever seen. It's got to be on here somewhere. Yeah, the Star Wars Express Train Collection. There we go. <laughs> How stupid is that? Look, and they've just blasted scenes of that along the side of the train. You're either into trains or you're into Star Wars, but I'm telling you, never the twain should meet. <laughs> uh, take the TV out the corner. I, it was out the corner at one time, Kev, but um, it, it, it takes up a lot of room. If you, I don't like wall mounting TVs because I don't like TVs high. They've got to be at eye height when I'm sitting down. I'm a fussy sod, didn't I? <laughs> uh, I did uh, get the photo controller. I've, I've understand I'm going to have uh, a lot of problems later on, Dawn, so uh, I'm not looking forward to that at all. But um, listen, I'm going to get on with this build now, so I'm sorry if I missed the comments, but I will try and come back to it at the end. Um, I don't know what we're doing tonight, so we're, we're going to find out now. But uh, let's change the camera over. Here we go. So, uh, I am aware you're here, but I am going to be showing it to the camera up here. So it's going to look a bit weird, but obviously when I've had the edited video, it will look good. But this is pack six of the uh, Fast and the Furious Dodge Charger, and this is what we get in it. As you can see, all of these parts, I believe, just feeling them, are metal. So uh, that's going to be good. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be increasing the front chassis and adding some details to it. So as you can see there, they're all the pieces, so you can do a quick stock take. And we're just going to be adding all of these details onto the front chassis here. So there's not really much to do. And unfortunately, again, there's nothing in here which is telling me what's coming in part seven. So uh, I can't really help you out without what's coming. But let's uh, get doing this. So no idea what we're doing. Right, so we've got the radiator support first. So let's get these bits out. Wow, did you hear that? Okay, so this is the radiator support looking just like this. And once again, this is all metal. And we're going to be adding... Uh, we're adding a piece here. It says, uh, insert the bottom radiator support into the corresponding hole in the middle of the bottom radiator housing. So this is going to be going in this way. It's got two ways round. This way has got some notches. We want to put it in... This way here it has got a little keyhole pattern so it can only go in one way and it goes in just checking again yep just like this and then that's going to be secured in from this side here with a dm screw once again dm screws they do give us spares on this collection which is good but i always now since the delorean build drop it in a tiny bit of oil there and slowly screw it in now I know a lot of people are going to be screaming at me now saying Wayne why aren't you doing that on a towel uh, there's a very good reason I'm not doing it on a towel there we go that's what that looks like when that's in uh, it's because if I put the blue towel down here because I've got a blue towel it plays havoc with the cameras so uh, I can't do that <laughs> so uh, just have to bear with it for now uh, once we've done that we're going to be turning this section over here and then we've got this other metal piece looking just like that now we've got a short side here and we've got a long side here it's the short side here that's going to be going on top of the section that we just put in and it goes on this way so it's going to go on just like that now this is going to be held in with a cm screw we've got lots of them in this one so i think in this stage the cm screw is the screw of choice so uh, this is where you get to see how much uh, I struggle getting some of these bits in you don't see this in the uh, in the edit but oh it's hard and trying to find the best way to do this sometimes I'll put the screw directly through that bit first and try that out let's try that And then sometimes I'll hold my pen, uh, my screwdriver like a pen. See if I can get that to line up. See, that worked. No, it didn't. <laughs> I felt that bite then. Try again. 
Okay. You can just wiggle it around until you can find the hole. And there we go. That's in. And then we want to make sure this is in as tight as you can get it. And straight. So that should look just like that. We're then going to be mounting this onto the vehicle. Now it's going to be this way round. So we've got the lugs up right here. And this is going to be facing inwards over these two lugs. So it's going to be this way round going on just like that. Now we are going to be securing that in with some AM screws. That's the only ones I haven't opened yet. <laughs> so I think probably best to uh, load the screwdriver up first on this one. As I said, I, have, I can't see chat when I'm doing this, unfortunately, peeps. So uh, I will I will try and pick up on that afterwards. But line these up. Let's do this side first. That's one in. Not all the way. Just enough to keep it held there. Bit of oil. And the second one. Just in that side. Now once I'm happy with that, I need to find a nice position where I can get a lot of strength and <laughs> onto this. Now this is normally where it goes into my hands, so bear with me. If there's blood, then don't panic. I'm sure Mrs. World of Wayne will be up here with a med kit. <laughs> now the reason I put a lot of pressure on there is because I don't want to round the heads. So I'm taking it slow. And there we go. That's in absolutely perfectly, not going anywhere. Okay, we can just put that to one side now because we're gonna be building a cross member. So we've got the cross member here made up of two sections, this one here and this cover here. Actually, this cover here is plastic. That's the only thing that's plastic, this is metal. Just see what way round this goes. Okay, so it's gonna be going very similar actually, but uh, it's going to be going this way round, following the curve of this metal piece here. It's going to be going in just like that. It's going to be held in with CM screws. Three of them this time. I think uh, my screwdriver is losing its magnetism. So I'll have to uh, magnetise that one up again. That's the first one in. Again, I haven't tightened it all the way yet. Here's the second one. Mainly on account that it just keeps slipping off the end of my screwdriver. It, that doesn't normally happen, you see. I do have another one here, but I think the other one's just as bad. There we go, that's the second one. I will put that one in tight. And last but not least, one in the other side. Oh, it's annoying. These are very tiny screws though, these ones. Almost there. It's going to tighten all of these ones up now. Two. You're not really going to see this bit. But anyway, when that's in, that looks just like that looks like that from that side we're going to bring over the vehicle now and we're going to be putting this into place now the bend on this is going to be pointing towards the middle of the vehicle so when we put this on it's going to sort of go on oh what hole we've got where does it go that's a good question <laughs> it's very deceiving where it goes we've got we've got a hole here that it could go on uh, perhaps this way which doesn't make sense to me hang on stand by it goes on that way definitely and it goes on towards the back so it's going definitely going on that way ah and it sort of fits underneath this section here 
So is that right? That looks right. This bit here, hmm, that doesn't make any sense. This doesn't go on top of it. This definitely goes above this section here. I, I've got to look at this picture again. Anyone got some advice on that? I'm just looking at the picture. No, 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 no. Does this go underneath? This goes underneath, doesn't it? Nope. Across the front section of the chassis 5A, next to the bottom radiator housing, align the holes in the ends of the cross member with the smaller holes on chassis 5A. I can see the holes where it's going to go. It just doesn't seem to want to fit very well in there. Oh, perhaps that, that is right. Okay. Well, it goes in just like that, according to the instructions. It's going to be held in with CM screws. Uh, before I put that in, I'm going to check chat. Make sure I am doing it right. <laughs> No one's commented, so I'm guessing I have. <laughs> I'm doing it anyway. It just doesn't look like the picture, the cross member though. The, the cross member they've got goes, ah, oh, wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. I've put this bit in the wrong way. That's what it is. Why didn't you warn me about that? <laughs> See, I make mistakes, so you have to, don't have to. So, this, that doesn't make any sense, because the picture at the start said put it in that way. Stand by. This, this isn't looking right. This is right. So, ah, oh, right, okay. So this is going over this side. So it is the right way, it's just that this spins around this side here, okay. I got it now. Then this goes over this way like that. So it's coming sort of from the back section there. Right. Okay. We're happy. Let's put this bit back in. <laughs> I knew I'd done something wrong. Okay. So making sure I put this bit on the right way. Yep, this bit's on the right. Okay. So... I'm going to be quiet just while I sort this out. So that's the first screw. And then the second one was a standby. It was an AM screw. I just want to make sure I dropped one. <laughs> I've got another one somewhere. There it is. Put the other one in as well. There we go. And we'll get that all the way in. That's better. Gonna have to edit that. So that should look just like that. Then, with this section we just made here, that's just gonna go underneath this section here. And it's gonna go into the holes on either side with CM screws. You love it when I make mistakes. It's always a Tuesday night I make these mistakes. Okay, so I'm going to put one side in first. Just enough to hold it. Then we'll put the other side in over here. Line it up. And then secure that as tight as I can get it. One. And this side, that's two. And then the only other thing we've got left to do is to put these covers on. Now they are directional. So you've got, this is the left tire. So you've got the left side and the right side. As you can see, this one's got an R on it for right. This one's got an L for left. Now these are gonna go into the two holes that you can see just there. On the bottom of these, we've got a locating lug. So they go this way round, put the locating lug in the hole, which I will try and get in the hole. Uh, can't get in, there we go. And that's gonna be held in with a CM screw. Just one CM screw this time. I haven't put this one in oil, which I should really do, shouldn't I? Hang on. 
just a bit. Probably best to. This is going to be hard. <laughs> I'm going to hold this like a pen again. Just to get it in where it goes. What you find with these builds, because they're, they're black on black, it's very hard to see the holes and shadows. So you're sort of like using the force a lot of the time. This isn't working. Hang on. Right. There we go. I've got it. I've still got it and it's going in excellent so tighten that one up and that's the first one in just like that we do exactly the same on the other side just get one more CM screw there load it up and drop it in some oil put that in here hold it like a pen get that through the hole there there we go and then I think we're in nope we weren't in <laughs> try again hmm that screw does not want to go into there have I put this the wrong way around hang on a second looking at how it goes is this the left one that's no, definitely the right one it goes that way round does it Ugh. that means I, I kind of put that one around the wrong way just looking at how this goes it goes to the flat side towards the inside so how on earth have I managed to get that in let's take that out again and have a look Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> so we're going to be putting this in with the flat side towards the inside. God, we're having a mare tonight, aren't we? I knew this was going to be like that. It actually goes on these slots here. I was putting it in the wrong hole. That's why. And then this is going to go in here. There we go. Right. That's better. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you put that in the wrong. I was trying to put it in the hole behind here. You don't do that. You put it in this one just here. And we do the same just on the other side here. We should be able to do this straight away now. This is what happens when you don't read the instructions, people. I went into this build blind tonight. <laughs> so, there's the other one. And there we go. We got there in the end. So, we have this section that we've just created here. And these two guards on this section. That's all there is to do in that stage. God, you're gonna to love to see the edit of that, aren't you? <laughs> Not quite sure how I'm gonna edit that. There's gonna be a lot of continuity errors, trust me. But we did it. I make mistakes so you don't have to. I have been on the rum tonight, that's my excuse. <laughs> Wait, not so fast and furious tonight. No, definitely not. I'm, I'm sort of broken down tonight. <laughs> oh, bless. Look, we got there in the end. Trust me. When you see the edit, you're going to think, wow, he didn't make one mistake. <laughs> I, will, I, will, I will put a uh, notice to the fact I do make mistakes. If you want to see them, uh, it will be in the, in the video there. <laughs> The video's like, yeah, it's only going to take 10 minutes. The video's only going to be about five minutes long, but you saw tonight that just took me like 20 minutes. But um, I, I was trying to put them in these two holes here. I don't know how I managed to get them in. I managed to get them in as well, which doesn't make sense to me. Um, but this bit, this bit was a bit confusing, I have to say, because I had it the other way around, which was wrong. So, but uh, we got there in the end. It's all metal. So this, this bit at the moment is... Uh, you know quite heavy we haven't attached the uh, tie rod yet which is this section here but uh that's to come i'm sure you fell asleep <laughs> <laughs> you fell asleep regulos i can't be that boring am i <laughs> i destroyed your wallet yeah a lot of people blame me for that apparently i've been written on many a divorce document as well <laughs> 
Oh, we got there in the end. I'm just going to skip through chat, see what people are saying. <laughs> are you talking about, everyone while I've been building that has been talking about why I need an enterprise above my TV, isn't it? I need a small light source. Well, funny you should say that, Gary. Um, I've got one, look. They gave me one with IXO collections. But because, um, hang on a second. Because I'm me, and I just, you know, had it here, I didn't think to use it, did I? So this is my lightsaber. <laughs> Apparently someone said this has got a magnet on it, but I haven't seen the magnet yet. The, uh, to magnetise this to hang it up to something, but I don't think it has. It's not picking up any screws anywhere. So, no. But it's a handy little thing. This is what I got as a free gift for doing the uh, Porsche. Uh... Porsche for the Peugeot 205. <laughs> it's been a strong hit of rum tonight, people, I'll tell you. <laughs> uh, what build? Uh, it's probably the Enterprise at the moment. The uh, I'm loving the Cobra. I think I mentioned it at the end of the Cobra video that when every, every issue you get, which makes it look like it's come a long way, I get excited about it, especially like the Spitfire when it got the wings. And, and everyone loves electrics. If you've got an electric that's going to light something up, then yeah, definitely. Um, the Ecto-1, I'm pretty impressed to see what we're going to be doing next. I haven't got a clue. Is it all going to be outside now? Are we finished with the internals now? I don't know. I haven't got a clue. We still haven't connected the steering wheel, by the way, of that. So it uh, makes me wonder if there is other things to do on that. We'll have to see. Wait, put a screws in a cup. I, I, I do have an organisation system here, Pete. That I, I put them at the back in different places around the table. But what I do, do you, you're going to slap me, I know you are. What I do do is when the build's finished, I, I throw them away. I don't I don't keep spare screws. I've got a pot of screws from the R2 build, Millennium Vulcan build, Ecto-1 build. I've got so many little screws, one of them's going to fit it. So uh, I never keep them. So, yeah, it was a lug and screw. So the I did line it up properly. I just had it in the wrong way. God knows how I managed to do that, Howard, but we did it. So... <laughs> Um, what's your favourite Fast and the Furious out of all? Uh, out of all of them, it's probably got to be uh, Seven. I liked Seven when they were uh, jumping between the skyscrapers. <laughs> that was crazy. Didn't like Eight very much. Um, the first one was all right. I liked Tokyo Drift, funny enough. I thought that was quite cool. I actually saw the Hulk car from Tokyo Drift. It was in the uh, Universal lot. Uh, um, obviously, Universal Studios in Orlando got pictures of it somewhere might have to try and dig them out uh, if you want to incure mrs welder wayne's get wayne harley yeah get me a harley said so we got a harley harley davidson shop literally just down the road but i'm not allowed in there <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, now what we're doing uh, for patrons tomorrow, we're going to be playing with a DC3. Now what we're going to be doing is we're going to we're going to be trying to make these door these these gear knobs. Now they want me to make them out of um super glue gel and talcum powder, which I'm not going to do. Now I've been speaking to uh, Phil over at Spruverse and he's suggested this stuff that he's got called Solaries, which you put on, make a blob, zap it with a UV light and it's going to make you hard. Can you get it over here? Pretty impossible. So, I, if I can find it, I'm going to do the next best thing. going to try and do it with my resin. <laughs> now, this dries rock hard, and it should be enough time for me to actually make some little balls out of it, I'm hoping. So, uh, if you want to watch the stream, which was even more of a car crash than tonight's stream was, uh, then check into the Patreon stream tomorrow. That should be fun. So... <laughs> Uh, Gary, Gary showed off one of his Kyber lights that he's got. They're really impressive. And you can whack them as hard as you want by the look of them. But they are uh, really good things. If you haven't seen the Kyber lights, then just do a Google search for Kyber light. Very impressive. How do you magnetise a screwdriver? Well, funny you should say that, Gunny, because I've got a magnet here. All you do, you get your screwdriver, you get your magnet, you stick it on there like that, and you just rub it like that. And the more you do it, I always put it in one direction. Always in one direction. And the more you do it, the more it's going to be magnetised. It doesn't need a lot. So, 
but I, I keep that there for that very reason. Matter of fact, I think that came from one of Mike Lane's kits. So <laughs> you have a spare. I, I should be getting mine, Matt. So thank you for the offer, but it should be coming any day now. I'm hoping. I'm hoping it does. So uh, I, the aircraft carrier scenes. That was Fast and the Furious. Was that uh, five, Paul? Where the runway, according to calculations, is 26 miles long. <laughs> Uh, I don't, but I know that um, Agora Models are starting to advertise it on the website. Not the actual car, but details of the Jaguar. So that would be a... I forgot all about the Jaguar, to be honest with you. I've been looking uh, looking for the... What's it called? The Leopard Tank. So, gear knobs. Yep, gear knobs. Going to be fun. <laughs> uh, the problem is, Chris, that I've got... Uh, that it's not going to be here tomorrow, so I'm going to use what I've got. I know how that epoxy works because I used it with the ET spaceship. So I'm pretty confident with it. But I'm happy to make mistakes on camera. <laughs> as you just seen tonight. <laughs> and as soon as the X-Wing comes, and obviously, yeah, I'll be doing that. Definitely, Regulos. It should be here tomorrow. I should be having like 10 issues of it. And that will be a live stream because we've done the wings. I just want to get the wings out of the way so we can actually do something new on it. But... Uh, I can't use dress pins. They're far, far too big, Bobby. Far too big. You wouldn't believe how tiny these little shafts are for the, the gear knobs. Uh, it's not shipping till September, the Jag. It probably makes sense. A lot of things have been pulled back at the moment. So, uh, Regulos, again, they're too tiny to even 3D print. You could probably get away with a resin printer for them. But then how are you going to get them to wedge onto the little spindle of the shaft? Because it's only like a photo etch part. So it's very delicate, which is why if you use a resin, because they suggest that idea that you can actually coat uh, sort of like a ball around it and it should set. But uh, yeah, they're a lot smaller than you think they are. Price 142 over on Twitch. How's it going? Oh, and did you know we will be building the base of the Terminator? Yes, I did know we'll be doing that. I don't know how many issues that covers, though. You've got the base, you've got the lights, you've got the speaker, and you've got the fiberglass and you've got the metal rim. So that's five, but there's four lights. So you could probably take that down into about four issues, perhaps. Don't know, there's not many issues left, is there? There's only like 15 left. So who knows, who knows? Anyway, listen, thank you for joining me tonight. I hope you liked that little bit of a car crash, but it does mean that tomorrow's video, when it goes up, is gonna be freshly edited and you're not gonna see any problems whatsoever, which is gonna be quite interesting. But uh, <laughs> I really do hope you like that stream. As I said, we've got Patreon stream tomorrow. We're going to be doing the DC3. And then we're going to be doing our normal chat stream on a Thursday. But uh, I hope you all keep...